Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to Web Development Bootcamp. As I promised, I'm going to start this 75 hours of course and we are here. So what we are going to do is I already divided that into the three different chunks like the three different verticals in the beginning. And what we are going to start with is uh, we can start with a JavaScript, a basic fundamental JavaScript first. And then as we progress, we will st I will start adding the CSS and HTML part. HTML part I'm skipping first because HTML is most of the developers are already aware I am all about HTML. And I will not be using CSS that heavily. So you should be comfortable in doing the basic fundamental of a JavaScript. And we are going to use this Scrimba platform. So you can just use because it's really nice. You can play with the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, see the output, anyone record and can run this. Okay. So if I just share you the snippet, you can play with uh, these Scrimba. I will also share a GitHub repository for the same. And this is our repository. I initialized the repository just now. So all the activities like this is the bootcamp and this is a unique link for the first video, right? Here we are doing nothing, but uh, we have here HTML, the, the styles and the JavaScript is added here in this. So when we talk about a basic web development, we talk about the basic things where we will be explaining each and everything. So this is HTML and HTML is nothing without the style and the JavaScript. Style is used to beautify uh, your page and JavaScript is provides the dynamic behavior on your page. Like when you click, when you reload, all those things are happening with the help of JavaScript. And when it comes to styling, all these things are happening with the CSS. Like here you are putting the, the margin, padding, and here you might put like inside this body H1. If I want to set some font size for the H H1, then we will do it something like this. Font size, let's say 30 pixel. Right? And you see this font size will be applied. Uh, let's say let it be 80 pixel. You can see. So all these things, how that is happening is we are beautifying this HTML with the help of CSS. And if you want to run some JavaScript code, by accessing the HTML, then you can do it something like this. So in JavaScript, uh, there are like lots of things you can do in JavaScript. I mean, when you see any browser, like this is also a web page where I can click, where I can switch the different pages, all the interactions which you see, all those things are happening with the help of JavaScript. And whatever the color, font size, you can see there is a header color, sidebar color, and this body color, and this body height, width, margin, padding, styling, all these things are happening with the help of uh, CSS. When I hope mouse over, what is this happening? There is a JavaScript event that, okay, when you do mouse move, when you click, all those things, when you click onto this, there is a different action. So that is all happening with the JavaScript. When I click on run, this is all JavaScript, right? But when you beautify, like let's say the, the width, height, this is also JavaScript, but how we are setting the width and height. If I ins try to inspect, I think I cannot inspect here, but here you can inspect the things which are here. You can see the width, height and all these sections. So this section, you can see this is the flex container, mm -hmm. flex direction column. And with this section, there is another body section attached to this. This is the whole body section because this is actually editor, right? So this is the first view. This is the header, then this is the body, right? So you can see this is just a header, top header. And then this is the, the whole editor, JavaScript editor, where we are actually playing with the different things, right? So that is all CSS here. You can see all the dot CSS. And this is how these styles are documented for a particular website or web page that we are adding here. So here we are understanding very basic fundamentals. And you won't believe I have never covered a basic fundamentals where I'm teaching ABC about ABC or very basic things about fundamentals. I always started with the JavaScript uh, intermediate because I'm thinking like my, whatever my audience is coming, they already know these things. But there is a huge demand that I should cover a very basic so that my channel is for each and everyone who is coming to my channel can also watch the basic basics of web development and when it comes to web development let's talk about a couple of things web development i will just add a comment here and we will play here 
so when it comes to web development but that that means i will try to increase the font size web development is all about three things you should be good at html css and javascript now in css it's not about just writing a dot index dot css file in css also there are lots of things css3 and uh, how to create a variables now there is a uh, sas less preprocessors are also there html5 is okay all about tags which you must have a knowledge like okay div h1 to h6 table tags uh, border tags and all these things and in javascript that provides all the events because javascript adds the dynamic behavior in your website when you click when you mouse over when you scroll when you move the mouse what all things should happen that is all de decided by javascript when you click on one button what should happen all those actions are decided by javascript let's say if i just try to create a simple button right so here button say hello click me right so we have here this button now when you click on to this what action should happen that is that is html and when you uh, start to add a styling on that like okay you have created a button tag i wanted to add some styling on the button tag so this is currently a tag when you are adding a class then you have to so there are different ways of adding a styling let's say if I, if you are doing a class this is an attribute okay button class so when you are adding a some class name then when you are while you are adding a css you will add a css something like this and i can set a background color which is let's say right background color is this or i can just set uh, green green right or you can just add here margin or padding margin 10 pixel padding 10 pixel right so margin and padding so that effect is applied right so this is the div this is html tags all the tags will be prefixed without dot but when it comes to the class or when it comes to the ids let's say you can also add an id here id is an attribute button id right when it comes to id then while adding the styling for that you will be using something like this button id right here you might say margin padding font size let's say 40 pixel right so th that change is applied here 40 pixel right so there are three different ways this is all basics right I created a HTML tag button and then I started beautifying it. So there are three different ways to beautify a particular HTML node, HTML element. So the button is HTML element. Either you can get put the ID and add a style for it. Either you put a class and add a style for it. Or you can also add something like this. You can add a style attribute and start adding the styling here. Or this is a HTML tag. You can add a styling just by putting a button. And I set margin padding. So all those things you will learn more in the CSS part like okay what is a margin, what is padding, what is border, right? Border, so if you want to just put a border, like I am saying a 2 pixel solid border with this color, right? And there is a 2 pixel border has been added on this button element. Let's see if I just add, I am just playing with this, then 6 pixel and then you can also set a border, so all these things are actually a CSS properties which you can add on uh, HTML node. So border pixel I can set 6 pixel and you can see the rounded border now on this uh, button element. So there are th three different ways in which we are adding the, the styling using ID. This is because this is all HTML. I, I can go back a little, back, little bit back because this is HTML and these are all the HTML properties mm -hmm. on any node you can set a ID. You can see ID, you can set a class and all the other data attributes like this data, ng, you can all add these custom properties also but the standard properties are like class, ID, these you can add on the any HTML node. Then uh, it depends on what is your uh, HTML node like let's say button or let's say input type when you are creating input 
type so these are already existing defined uh, properties which you can add like input type text name id value all these are existing properties which you can add on an input type so here we have input type text field right and these all properties are already defined in html documentation okay if you are using html uh, node input html element input then what all properties you can add like placeholder okay enter text there are many more like i think uh, when i talk about like you can also do a validation mm -hmm. so required read only rule or accessibility attributes required if it is required true placeholder we already have pattern if you wanted to just stick to a particular input for this element then you can specify a regex pattern for this so all these things are all, all what attributes this is html element and these are attributes okay so we will when we talk about a basic html nothing else when we talk about html elements attributes or what all different type of html tags then we will discuss more about it here this video is the first video before i start jumping jump into javascript because how you should follow this channel or this playlist is first you should focus more on the html part then a little bit on styling part and then you can jump to the javascript part so this is the javascript basics i'm starting but before that how we are going to play is okay this is you will put some html here we'll add some styling in the css in the index.js you will start adding some javascript code and this is the format we are going to follow and then parallelly i will i will be also publishing the videos on html and styling because learning html is also equally important and then styling the html elements and then applying the javascript dom behavior right so these things uh, i mean this is a part of all 75 hours content and this is you can see the day one where we have actually bootstrap this playlist and let's get started